Hello there, air signs. Gemini. Libra. Fuck. Libra. Aquarius. It's time for your shadows of judgment, y'all. I know. I miss November. I'm not doing it, but we at least got December. And that's the important thing. I don't know if I'll do anything special for the New Year's, but I am using the top deck. Gemini, you're up first for your judgment calls. Right? Or at least the ones I'm making for you, for whoever finds them predictably true. Or probable, or even close to resonating. If it doesn't, don't worry, because I'll probably get you next time. Right? Right. Alright, let's see what's going on with Gemini's judgment. Ooh, lots, lots, lots. Let's see. It's a queen of this, possibly Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, who's being really needy and stingy and not very nice, who needs to give an apology. And over here, we get a queen of swords, possibly you, Gemini, or a Libra, Sagittarius, who's being really hypercritical because she's not happy. She's not satisfied with something. Like... Someone's definitely not happy and they're being like hypercritical about it. And you're in the center is the chariot. It could be cancer. But someone's trying to gain balance in the situation where an apology needs made because someone isn't happy. Two people, I feel like. And here is the Aeon or judgment in this, which is this is the right judgment. Or someone's looking for the right judgment in all this, really. Trying to figure out what to do. Maybe even trying to gain clarity on a higher, more spiritual level. Could be. There she is again, acting like a spoiled little bitch. And over here, someone is definitely not delivering. Even with the king of this. Someone is definitely acting very miserly and demanding. And, like, they should be more of a provider. But instead, they're like... Nah. I ain't doing shit for you. <laughs> What's your release date? Mm. Oh, yeah, I'll take you. Fuck it. No! Oh. Yep. 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 Okay, Gemini. Oh, let me see if there's any probations for you. Anything that might be advisable to give help, right? No? Okay. Well, apparently not. Alright. Gemini! I'm taking a bite of this pudding. Let's see. There is a queen of discs. Who needs to apologize... To someone younger, who I feel like she's disappointed in or some shit. You know, because the Ace of Cups, I feel like it's more an apology than just a new beginning. But it's like... Maybe she's apologizing for acting like a little disappointing brat. Acting childish, not being as mature as she should be. Hmm. And now someone's trying to gain balance. Because whatever judgment they're deciding on is based on this situation where someone doesn't feel like everyone's been getting the Eight of Cups a lot, despite how much I'm shuffling, I have to say. But someone wants a judgment call in order to balance themselves about a situation where 
I feel like they're just losing the love in this and they just want to let it go because someone's being really hypercritical because they're not satisfied and now they're just not giving in to shit like they're holding their ground and being extremely stubborn and this is the king of pentacles i don't feel like any of these like these two might be the same but this one is on with a different person so it's like no this is not the same person these are two different people and this person's withholding a lot because they're not happy. Maybe they're not even happy with this earth sign they're considering once as a provider, but now find them to be useless, maybe? I don't know. And over here, someone just needs to apologize to somebody else younger, or they need to apologize for acting like a little brat. And that's it. That's yours, Gemini. I'm surprised I didn't get any probations with you, but it's like, hmm, you guys are hard to read anyway. Ugh. The communication is just astounding. It's like, like, even when I read your cards, it always seems like you guys never know what you want. You know, but I think it's because you weigh out everything so much that you put everything on a much more balanced scale than like a Libra does. Speaking of Libra, great segue. Ha, 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 ha. Anyway, Libra, it's your turn for your shadow of judgment. So, let's see what the universe has been saying about you. What kind of judgment calls can we make about y'all in your life? Who are you dealing with, and how are those people dealing with you? The two motives, please. Be awesome. Or not, it's whatever. I can wait. But I don't have that much time on my camera, so, you know. I'll take those three. Ah! New beginning! Okay, so we got a new beginning because... Hmm, that's abundance, but it's like... Did you get sick from it? Did you vomit it up in the library? You know? Like that kind of vibe from like Children of the Mirror. There's a cancer in the center here. Maybe someone's trying to get their balance back, Libra. That usually is your goal. And I think you're charging in to try to get that balance because over here there's a new beginning because someone got a little bit sick of all that abundance over everything that I got and more. Like, maybe something, like, I don't know, because that's, like, three cups. It's, like, that could be a third-party situation. But I really don't feel like it's that with this deck's three cups. Like, I, like this deck doesn't make me feel anything of a romantic type of that. It's just, like, an overindulgence, and I feel like you can eat those cups because they look like gummies. If anybody thinks that, like, please let me know, because I don't want to be the only one. Here you are, Libra. And there goes that card. <laughs> Like, you're definitely trying a new beginning in order to balance yourself. That's your card adjustment. Little symbols right there. And you're definitely trying to balance yourself. You're definitely trying to find some way. And you're going about it one way or another. Because over here, all this, like, getting sick just made you have to go back inside and be like... Nah, maybe that's not a good idea. You even got a little doggy. Got a doggy. That's more than what I have with kids. Oh. Yes, this stems from insecurity. Indeed. Like, someone's definitely been insecure, and that's why they've been trying to get their bones back? Or is that just how it's become now? Because it's like... This comes afterward. Ah! Ah! Truth moment, and someone's trying to play Jesus Christ on the cross. Just hanging themselves there in order to be martyrized and idolized. Ew. With an apology needed. And love. Over here, on this side. 
I feel like someone's supposed to face that tower moment. With the Libra card, right? Which could be you guys, because that is your card, right? Could he also be dealing with a legal moment? Or something to do with, like, justice and fairness? Because that you guys are the signs of, like, balance and fairness and right and wrong. Like, it's like you guys live via that shit. Which is so weird to me. Yeah? Yeah. That, like, that's just me. Because I'm an earth sign. Is there another probationary? Do one more shuffle. If not, we'll continue. Okay, Libra. Here's your judgment for December, right? Someone wants a new beginning. Someone fucking hiss at me? Slap a hoe. I swear. Anyway, someone wants a new beginning with the fool. Clean slate. But I feel like they're going in blind with Libra. That justice. You know, justice is blind, right? They're going in like... Without even looking. But I feel like they still s saw a tower moment. Like, there's the eye. Or maybe they're going in themselves in order to see this truth, right? About a love situation. Because someone's trying to get balance. They've been insecure about some sort of apology. And I feel like it's because this abundance made them sick and they had to, like... Go inside their own heads with Virgo's Hermit. Because this is the Hermit card, right? This is Virgo's card. They went inside to analyze what was going on with them by themselves. And realize maybe they were martyring themselves for the wrong reasons? Does that make sense to anybody? Because like, that's like dramatic as fuck. Anyway. That's yours, Libra. We move on now to Aquarius. Aquarius, what's going on with you? That was my favorite little aliens day one today. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Nine of Pentacles. There you go. You're trying to gain something right here. Either identity, status, wealth. You're trying to do something. Yeah. And, oh, and you're on the move. Possibly with a Princess of Wands, or at least her energy. Leo Sagittarius, Aries, someone definitely delivering some news, getting out there, sparking stuff, getting their butt cheeks out and, like, blazing. Oh, my goodness, everything just fell. She's just blazing away with her energy. Like, she's just ready to go. She's ready to burst. She's traveling. She's moving. Delivering news, even, right? God, that was so dramatic. What? Why did everything fall? And here is pleasure with the Six of Cups. Sometimes it even deals with the past. What's this deck? You're nostalgic. Everything is dressed up like candy or presents. Happiness. And a disunion with the lovers. Or even a Gemini you're dealing with, right? Maybe you broke up with one or something. Maybe you're waiting on news when it comes to one who might be disgruntled. I don't know if disgruntled is really the proper word to use with a Gemini who's, like, possibly irritated or mad or whatever. But I don't know what else to call them. And I'm not really, like, commit to that so far yet. Right? Right. But I, I always figure disgruntled is the best word. <laughs> My friend watches this like she's gonna be so mad because I said that. Well, maybe. I guess it all depends. I need to text her. I keep forgetting that shit. I always forget to text people. Oh, look at that. Yes. Someone wants to give an apology from the past, I think. Or for the past, for past pleasures? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces? That's, that was a weird vibe to get. Someone's not being very nurturing and caring. I don't know why. Like, what the hell? And, oh, there's some more fire. So someone went from, like, delivery to, like, full status, like, gloriousness. And someone delivered some good news to a disgruntled... Gemini, possibly? Or good news about a relationship and now someone's coming back like, fuck yeah, I rule. 
you know. Ace of Wands reversed. What? Are any more missionary parents? Okay, I got Five of Pentacles. Worry, being left out in the cold, dreading things, possibly financially, possibly otherwise, and a lack of a fucking apology. Nothing. No need to start with that either. Okay, so like, wow. Aquarius, there is this identity here that, uh, that someone is really happy with. This gain of sorts. Like, something that makes somebody happy. But they're not nurturing and they're not kind in order to get it. And it's causing them a lot of worry. Or maybe someone isn't being as kind and nurturing as they should have been in this situation. And that's causing someone to feel left out in the cold and worrying about it. And now there's some apology that's coming from this past pleasure. And someone wants to apologize, but it's like they either don't have the gumption or the energy to, or it just causes things to fall apart. And there's good news being sent about, like, a breakup? And then, like, the Princess of Wands totally upgrades to the Queen of Wands, someone who's holding themselves high and regal, because there was no apology ever given. If that makes any sense. So, I... I think we're done here Aquarius. I will see you guys later and I hope y'all enjoyed your shadow judgment. Bye-bye.